Hi, this is Josh Newton from WhiteSource. This is the third in a series of videos about the WhiteSource for GitHub.com integration, and in this video we will discuss what is scanned, when a scan occurs, and how to view the security results. To determine what is scanned, there are several settings. First, within the organization, if we come into the applications and configure the WhiteSource for GitHub.com integration, we can choose to either scan all repositories within this organization or only selected repositories. The integration creates the .whitesource file. So when we go open that, we see the scan settings section, which has a parameter called base branches. By default, this is set to scan all branches since there is no branch specified here within the array. But if you'd like to only scan a specific branch or branches, you can enter that here. Once you commit this back into the repository, the white source scan will only scan the main branch of this repository. To see what triggers a scan, you can look up the white source for github.com documentation article, then click on the initiating a scan section. The integration is intelligent about not scanning if there is no relevant action that warrants a security scan, such as updating a readme file. As we see in the document, a scan is triggered when a relevant source file is added or removed, or if the package manager dependency file is added or modified. For example, if the repo is a Java project and the pom.xml manifest file is updated, then a security scan will be triggered. Finally, anytime the .white source file is modified, we will run a security scan using the modified settings. Any vulnerabilities that are found from a white source scan will be created as issues within github.com. Be sure to enable the Issues tab by clicking Settings and then clicking the checkbox for Issues. In this repo, there are 33 issues currently. When we click on a specific issue, we see the details about the vulnerabilities and specifically the relevant details about the CVE. We can click on the Vulnerable Library section to see the library name, the path to the vulnerable library, whether this is a direct or transitive dependency, and which branch it was found in. In the Vulnerability Details section, we see a summary of the CVE, the date it was published, and a link that will take us to the White Source Vulnerability Database where we can see all of the details around this CVE. The CVSS3 score shows us a 5.5 on a scale of 10, hence the medium classification. And finally, the suggested fix section shows which version of the library we recommend to remediate this vulnerability. Since this repo has white source remediate enabled, our recommendation is going to be the next available version in which the CVE is fixed. So we are recommending you go from version 1.2 to version 1.2.3. If white source renovate was enabled, it would recommend the most recent version of this file. We'll cover remediate and renovate in further detail in a later video. Notice that automatic remediation is available for this issue. White source provides the option of automatically creating a pull request to remediate this issue. This will also be covered in detail in the remediate and renovate videos. So right here in the github.com UI, your developers can see all of the relevant information around the vulnerability that were vulnerabilities that were found in their commits to help them decide on a remediation path. An important feature is that the developers aren't punished or held accountable for existing vulnerabilities in the repo, but are rather informed on the security results of their individual commits. We can see that here by switching to a feature branch owned by a particular developer and viewing the security check.
notice that this particular commit remediated seven vulnerabilities and introduced one new vulnerability. We show that the base branch still has 33 remaining vulnerabilities, but the developer is only responsible for what they committed here. In addition to the branch, we can also go to any commit to a repository and see the check run results for this particular commit. So in this case, several actions occurred. A license policy check was ran and successfully passed. A GitHub action completed successfully and a security check failed. When I click the details on the failed check, I see that this commit introduced 16 new vulnerabilities. So with this comprehensive commit history, you can trace exactly when issues were introduced or remediated and by whom. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.